Welcome to my overview for the Erica Sims Black Series LFO. We've got a tap tempo button, sync input to take your clock signals, an internal VCA and envelope with attack and decay or hold and decay, a set of seven waveforms and a CV over the LFO's rate. We'll go through the features, to start we've got an inbuilt clock rate, internal VCA and envelope, tap button and divide or multiply, but let's start with the frequency knob and the output's just moving the cut off on a bandpass filter. So as well as the frequency, there's a divide or multiply with times 1 in the middle, times by 2, and times by 4. We've got divide by 2 to the left, and divide by 4 as well. And what's also there, which isn't on every clockable digital LFO, is a tap button to manually tap in your tempo. So with that in sync to the taps, you can still multiply or divide the rate. The shapes are a curve style triangle, which is sign like triangle wave, ramp wave, falling saw wave, the square wave, and a great envelope style shape, which rises and falls like an attack and decay and then holds a sustain before falling again which is like the release of an ADSR. We've then got the random wave which is a sample and hold. Sticking with the same sound, here's a faster rate and we've got the inbuilt VCA and envelope at the bottom with the attack at zero and the decay at infinity to the right, the unit works as a standard LFO. With the decay down and no gate present at the gate input, the envelope will then cycle through the attack and decay settings. The LFO passes through an internal VCA with the envelope shape in the depth of that output. So it's not so obvious on a random wave, so let's go to a square wave. And you can hear the amplitude the LFO is changing, here's a longer decay. Let's try that with a saw wave and a shorter decay. And you can get these and play these with a keyboard or sequencer. We've got the attack as well to create a rising amplitude. Let's take the attack and turn that into a hold time with this switch. As the decay goes down to zero level, instead of then rising again with a set attack time, it holds at that level of zero before rising straight back up and decaying as set. So notice the difference between the hold and attack. Going back to hold. The unit itself will of course clock at the sync input and I'll use an LED cable so you can see the incoming clock rate. And it reacts quickly to changing clock speeds as well. And you can divide down that clock. And we can multiply that as well. Taking out the sync, we've got a CV for the rate control of the LFO as well. With a negative voltage, which is a yellow colour on that LED cable, we can slow the LFO down. And with a positive signal, which is a red LED on that red LED cable, we'll speed up the LFO. 
We've got the gate in, which is a gate in for the internal envelope, which cuts out the internal looping when a gate is present. So adding the gate, we can then play that envelope. Notice with a short gate, and you can see that gate length with a red LED cable, the internal envelope will cut off just like a standard envelope generator, and a longer gate held will let that cycle through its envelope fully. So the decay has died down and that's at zero, but with a short gate, you can actually cut off that envelope like you can in a standard ADSR. Having that set to hold, the gate will trigger the hold period before the decay. So when the hold time is longer than the gate length, we'll actually get nothing. I've got a keyboard here and I'm going to use the pitch and the gate to trigger some vibrato from the Black Series LFO into the FM on my oscillator. At the minute the LFO is just triggering with my gate. So holding the output high with a gate we can use the VCA on board the module and the envelope to shape the LFO's amplitude. can set that to hold so it comes in later. Short notes won't trigger anything but a long note will. And that's because of the time of the gate coming in and the time of the hold. We can change the hold to an attack so we can fade in that LFO's depth. Those short notes won't quite fade in the amplitude as much because of the long attack time. But long held notes of a long gate to the module will. So to finish on I'll look at using the CV processor alongside the LFO. I've got the CV processor attenuating the LFO's output to control a wave table. And turning up that signal on the CV processor, here's the LFO. The CV processor can boost the signal to two times its gain and also invert with negative gain as well. I'll look at using the envelope on board to create a new shape, so turning down the decay. And you can create new shapes, so I'll turn up that LFL rate so it's easy to hear what's going on. slow envelope and a slow rate and much closer to those envelope shapes we can create more unique and interesting shapes. Boost the LFO level a bit. So let's slow this down some more. So that's it for the Erica Sims Black Series LFO, watch out for more videos from the Black Series coming soon and check out other Erica Sims videos on my channel. Hit like and subscribe for more videos every week and check the Patreon link in the description if you want to support my channel.